Okay, and I should be live right now, I think. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so it's my first time multi-streaming. Um, I made a poll on on the YouTube page to see like if I were to stream, which channel would be better. Apparently, everybody who watches my YouTube channel is going to stay on Oops. is going to stay on YouTube anyway. So I was, why not do multi-streaming then? Um. I think it's two. No, it's three. Three. I got this tool now. I made this thing. When I switch between screens, it will show. And only when my screen is showing, it's green. Else, let's switch back to my camera. No, oh, whoops. It will become red. No, I hope this will help to <laughs> remember to show my screen. So in the recent poll that I did, um, yeah, it's just asking, only one person voted for Twitch apparently, so yeah, kind of obvious that I should just stream on both then. I think my processor can handle it. Um, CPU is at 12%, so yeah, it's double I think. But for the rest, everything seems fine, no dropped frames and everything. Um, yeah. I think everything is running fine. I, I'm not, I'm not actually certain if I can show this page. Can I? Um, no idea. Um, oh wow, the chat is busy today. <laughs> Hi everybody. Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are. I think for a lot of you it's probably night right now or like late in the evening. I should... Oh. Eh? Why am I live on... I... I think I'm live on both. Can everybody hear me right now? Why am I live on... Wait, can people not see me on, on YouTube right now? Nobody's re responding, so I'm kind of wondering. Can people... No, I'm live. <laughs> Up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So ev everything is probably working right now. Um... New done. Oh no no no! This is test. Yeah, I, I I did test. Yeah yeah no no. Okay. Um, is there like a way to get this chat? Um, pop out chat. Yes. And here as well. Normally I can. Um, chat will pop out. Okay. If I put this one here, this one here. Um, I should probably just put this next to. Um, I'll, I'll play it. Okay, so everything is good. You just have a large delay. Oh wait, in my voice. I yeah, there could be a delay in my voice because I have not set up the audio properly. I think. Yeah, there's like this will be twenty five. I think no, not this one. Um. I I had problems recording my audio the other day. Okay, normally this should fix it, I think. Can I put this one over here? Yes. My desk is kind of tiny and because I only have one screen, it's kind of difficult. I should have used my laptop, but the problem is my laptop, it's kind of garbage. It does not want to start up again. Um, oh well. I'm not certain how I will do these chats. Uh, let, 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 let's close the chat for now and I'll just open it on my phone. I'll just check Twitch every now and then because I don't have Twitch on my phone. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a little bit of a setup day today. <laughs> Everything is good. You just have a large delay, as I can hear you. Okay. Um, let's close this one. Let's open this. Let's open Gozen and let's show what progress I have made the last couple of days. Let's put that one over there and let's put that one on five. So I have enough tabs open next to each other. Uh, also. This application that I made, I, I will probably make a video about it, how I made it, but I called it Oh My Screen because I'm very original with naming. <laughs> okay, goes on. Um, what was I doing? Doing. Oh yeah, I also got like an issue. Uh, I had to install like an audio jack because for some reason it was not working. I ha I've been having uh, pipe wire issues, switch back to pulse audio, but yeah, apparently I did not do it correctly. Um, what was I doing last time? I think the media pool. So let's first show what I have right now. Right now, Gozen looks like this. So let's do it in full screen. I hope my camera is not blocking too much. And also talking about my camera, I found it to be a little bit tiny, so let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, I knew there was a button for that. Lock talks, no, no. There's like a thing, Outlook preview. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. I should probably lock this again. Okay, so Gozen, star screen has been there for a long time. I probably should add the Reddit page because we have Reddit now. Um, if I can find it. So we have a Reddit page, a subreddit. If you want to join, r slash Gozen. So far two posts and we have 30 members already. Okay, so yeah, let's, you, but you can create a project, that's not a problem, and test. This is the media pool, everything kind of still need to, needs to change a little bit. This whole layout, default layout, yeah, it's kind of buggy. This is not supposed to be here, the, the right panel. Um, I mean, like the stream is late, so when you ask a question, we hear, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, a, there's a big delay when it comes to that. Well, it also has to do with Void and does not read the chats all the time, I guess. Yeah, I, I should probably invest in like a second monitor or maybe just get my laptop parking this, that, so that I can put it next to my screen where I can see the chat and everything. Also, if Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitch, for example, gets more views, I should probably have the chats delayed, uh, delayed uh, showing up on the screen as well on the stream. Um, for programming, it's kind of difficult to do that, I think. Because I, yeah, the, the screen will be even more tiny. Oh, wow, but there's a very giant delay on YouTube right now. Yeah, wow, the delay, delay is big. Steal the monitor of your wife. I cannot. I, I honestly cannot. It's, it's a... TV, PC, combo. I cannot really attach, wait. It's also a TV, so it may be possible. The only problem I have is I don't have an extra HDMI cable, plus my graphics cards can, <laughs> my graphics cards will probably burn <laughs> if I will do that. Um, I have a GTX 760, wow, top performance. It's so outdated and when I, normally if I run, it should still show, oh no, it does not show anymore. Um, layout, ren renderer, render menu. So I got this, I got the rendering mostly, mostly done. Um, add item, okay, no, I, I can see it like this. So normally there's supposed to be a, star if hardware encoding is possible 
Nothing has a star. I have H264, H265 support, uh, MPEG 1, MPEG 2, MPEG 4, VP8, VP9, AV1, but no hardware encoding, which yeah makes rendering very slow. Like over here, I got the I got the message. A star means hardware acceleration possible. Even for audio codecs, no hardware <laughs> hardware acceleration support. Um, you should make it so YouTube chat shows up on your phone screen app. It does. Ah, yeah, oh no, on, on this one. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but actually this application, I only got it to work once. I loaded it up today because I thought from, maybe it will work and somehow it works. I don't know how it works today. Like there have been WebSocket issues the entire time. And that's why I have not tried to make a video about it because I don't know why there are WebSocket issues. My kid is nicely playing today. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, he he got a new toy yesterday. Um, yeah, he likes it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, speed, quality, threads. This all does not work. Even the browser button does not work. Format does not work. Format will basically be like the presets. And normally advanced settings should be turning off when you press that switch. These buttons also don't do anything except for the play button changing. Um, the subtitling screen. Over here you will have the subtitle. Same system, li uh, system like the YouTube video subtitler. Um, also preview. Over here you can see the blocks of the subtitles. We will support SRT in the beginning and we'll go over to Web v uh, VTT um, in the future. That will probably be for after better. Um, the logo right now I need to change because these lines don't they they don't really display very nicely. But this will basically be kind of a menu. Um, in the editor we have a localization tab now. It does not work yet. We can generate the MO files with it. So just one press button and we have the MO file. So that kind of works. Uh, generate POT. Also does not work yet, and this button is just kind of yeah um, testing for me, for now. Um, the wonders of app development. Yeah, I am not a fan of working with Android because there's always something that does not work. Always, it does not matter. If, like even if you make a very simple application, you upload it to the Play Store, it will say that there are some problems for some devices. Okay. Um. I. I have. Okay. So we have one viewer on Twitch right now. I, I have no idea how Twitch works. I. I just started because maybe people will choose it. Um. Yeah. Okay, well, I won't work on the localization stuff anymore, mainly because I, I, I can be bothered. <laughs> Android is such a mess, yeah. Um, I think most of my system right now is probably taken up by Android development. Oh no, that, that is JetBrains, but I... That's because Android Studio is part of it, I think. Yeah, Android Studio takes up 2.6 gigabytes. And normally there should be... There, normally there's another partition with the SDK stuff and such. And the JDK stuff. Okay, and Firelight stopped working again. Why? Um... That's Pac-Man, Flatpak. Oh, Flatpak? I thought I... I thought I installed Flatpak. Yeah, I installed it. Can I delete this folder? No, I'll delete it. Let's, let's not mess too much with my system right now. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hi. 
Oh, again. Safe. Not not safe for long. <laughs> okay. Well, let's start programming a bit now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, is my audio good right now? Is it loud enough? I It shows that it sometimes goes into the reds, but... Okay, my webcam is doing strange things again. I don't know what it is with my uh, with this with this cheap thing, but there's like a line crossing the screen every now and then. Like right now, it's yeah, math uh, something for later, something for later. Let's get some work done. So, what is everybody up to today, or has been up to today? Working on applications, working on a game. I feel like I should check Twitch every now and then just in case. Um, there's only one viewer right now. <laughs> okay, and the media pool. I should probably work on the media pool. Not, no problem on YouTube. I muted Twitch as it was echoing. <laughs> Which right now is faster, Twitch or YouTube? That's that's something I'm kind of wondering right now. Um, project three is no longer set as. What is this? Ah, yeah, yeah, no, uh, I copied. Yeah, yeah. Um, not very much studying a mock exam and working on some three D modeling. Oh, I like three D modeling, but. Time. Um, I should probably. This will probably give. That will give problems, I think. Um. Oh. Okay, so let's add this one. So there will be a global menu and a project menu. So if you want to use files between different projects, you easily can do that. By example, my outros of my YouTube videos, I will be able to put in the global folder, so I don't always have to import them again. Blender updated to 4.1. I heard that it updated to 4.1, but I don't actually know all the changes. I'm working on a game jam, but I don't think my game is going to be done by submission deadline. But we'll still give enough experience to maybe do it the next time, maybe do it, like, complete it the next time. I've been wanting to join a game jam, but... Yeah... I would probably not even be able to get halfway at this point. I I'm too busy. Oh, wow, my webcam went down for a bit. Okay, but it looks fine right now. Like I'm using a USB extension cable and I think that's probably going to cause trouble and I think that's what the line is the whole time. I should, I should actually check. I think I'm... Um, no, correct. If I put this on here, now it does not really work at all. Frame rate, frame rate 5. 
No. Switching between these sometimes helps. Okay, I got I got a message. Yeah, my, my webcam does something strange and I I think that's Yeah. I went cheap, but it, it's good enough for now. Yeah. Does it tweet the entire time or only when I touch it? Oh well. I'm not a professional streamer. <laughs> I would want to get more into streaming, but I will not know what to stream about. I don't think I will be particularly. I don't think I will be particularly funny streaming myself playing games and the only thing I can kind of do somewhat decently maybe is programming so yeah this is the first jam I've done so I expected to not be uh, not too perfect I just overestimated the amount of time I could slack off <laughs> the amount of time that you spend doing other things yeah when you do a game jam i feel like you should really be able to dedicate those entire days of the game jam to that specific project else it's kind of difficult to complete it in time and also just to create something fun i've been talking about making uh, like doing a game jam with the entire discord server but i'm not certain how that would go i it's something i'm very interested in doing but yeah uh. By the way, I, I wrote this cup, I made this cup, I should hide it because the name's on it. <laughs> My wife says that this does not look like a deer. I think it does. I'm, I'm not an artist by any means. I've participated in three game jams so far, only and, and only finished two games for it. I think. <laughs> One I never actually released, but it's helped me figuring out 3D. I've been experimenting a lot with 3D because I was actually working on a, on a game before. Um, I tried to make devlogs about it, but I could not really succeed in doing so. And yeah, then life got busy with work. But I was actually making a, a game to learn Japanese. In which you were traveling to uh, to Japan and interact with people and learn the language like that, but yeah, um, let's just say that language learning is very difficult and to implement that in a game, it's time consuming. <laughs> okay, so normally I have. Oh, wait, why does this not? I thought it was globe. Oh. Normally the global data should persist. Why does it not persist? empty why um get pull the data a new pokemon on the cup <laughs> I think I get a, did a good job. I, I didn't I did make a spelling mistake in it because I was still quite new to learning Japanese. I wrote in Japanese oh wow the lights. Uh, I wrote in Japanese I stay, which means like um like I love you. But I made a writing mistake in it. It's supposed to be I stay, and I wrote a hiragana for E. 
next to the kanji and yeah. So the right now it's I stated. <laughs> Why, why, why? Did I change something in here? No, no. no let, let's see. Um, wait, wait, wait. If folder data is folder data, no. Oh, wow, that, that was a bit mistake. Um, but normally, this should work. I still kind of have a migraine, but I took medicine, so it's it's manageable today. Um, normally, this should not do anything. If global tree is best. Oh, wow. There's my problem. Okay, so if I create a folder in here, that should persist. If I create a folder in here, let's add two. Oh, whoops. Yeah, the rename thing does not work yet. Normally, project data should not be saved right now because I did not press save. This saves, okay, if I add a folder here, um, let's add another folder inside of it so I can make certain, oh, um, yeah, no, I forgot to save. So add a folder, add a folder, save, oops, save. Normally, yeah, no, normally that should save. Ah, uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I shall change things here, I think. So the folder data, because it's a dictionary, we can, if I pass in this variable, Normally, it should edit the, this variable directly if I give it as an argument and a function. Um, but let's have a bool here. Well, let's not create false. Let's solve this a little bit. Oh, whoops. Let's make this a little bit nicer. The copy paste syndrome, yeah. The thing about having a migraine is you you feel like like even when you take medicine you feel like oh I'm okay now. You're not actually okay. You'll still have pain throughout the day and somehow your brain just does not function in the way that you think it does. These glasses kind of help a lot. <laughs> oh. Um, add file, I should just... Global. Global. And my kid is playing with his marbles. Are you happy? <laughs> I wonder how much you can hear of his marbles in the background. <laughs> because they're damn loud. Um. I feel like I should switch and change things about this. No. I can basically remove this one now. And now in media pool, not in three, normally there should be errors. Give me errors. Uh, 
I should. Yeah, no, I should really. If I am already passing the uh, those variables of global, I should probably not pass in these things, can I? <laughs> At least we can hear he's still alive. Yeah. If you have a kid and it suddenly becomes very quiet, never a good sign. I'll I'll remove these. That will give problems, but um, oh. So we need all the data. Okay, maybe I am overcomplicating this right now, but this makes sense in my head right now. Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> um, nobody on Twitch. Nope. Oh, there are two viewers on Twitch somehow. <laughs> um, I'll I'll be right back. I'll quickly. Take some ice for my neck, my headache is coming again. And I'm back. Okay, we have seven. Oh, we have seven viewers on Twitch. Ah, uh, seven viewers on YouTube and two viewers on Twitch right now. Well, it's more than I expected. I expected actually to have no viewers. Like I don't understand Twitch. To be completely honest, I don't understand Twitch. I also did not know apparently that you cannot test your stream before streaming, and the line is happening again on my screen. Oh well. Um, so I, I need to, I kind of want to use, yeah, I should not have to have this data if I'm already passing if it's a global or not, so. Folder, um, I wonder if I pass in a files idea as an argument, does that... Okay, let's open my test screen again. Oh, why is... Oh. Um, test room. I have like this 
thing, this scene. Let, let's hope there's not too much in here that should not be shown. Um, oops. So funk, funk ready, pass, let's have packed array here, var, array, packed, string array? Yeah, packed string array, let's make that empty, so in the array, appends, append tests, and tests, And now when you pass in a dictionary and such, you basically have the pointer of that array, uh, of that dictionary. I don't know if the same counts for a packed string array, so I'm, I quickly want to test that. Array dot append working. So test array. Um, and print array. Oh, it's not attached. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. No, that works. So I can just pass the array uh, completely. Um, well, we can close this one. At how much is my CPU right now? Fourteen. Okay. Um, files IDs, folder, folder data. So I could make this return a. Yeah, actually, why, why don't I... No. No. My kid really likes escaping to the balcony recently. It's kind of dangerous, I don't want him to try and climb it. Will be a big drop. Um, so. Okay, so let's rename this folder. Um, we need the folder data, so... Um, folder data, if global, else, project, manager dot, folder data. And we do the same for file data. Okay, normally that should work. File data does not exist, so if global else okay, project manager file data erase file ID and if global save data. Okay. Um, now, why does this one not? Uh, that, why did this one work? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, for array. folder path and folder identify global nodes why eh? over here um, 
Oh, whoops. Okay, but why is there an error over here? Identify folder paths, not declared in current scope. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so normally this should work now. Let's also remove this. Wait, do I? Save it. Um, file data arrays file. Else, and you can just put this one behind here. So remove file box. Add folder. Um, How late is for is it for everybody in the chat right now? I think like most of you are from Europe watching right now, I think. So how oh whoops, what did I do? Um Oh wow, it's midnight. <laughs> um Okay, so that works now. We should not have these anymore as well. Maybe space here. Okay, there was a reason why I had GS for global. So if if global else p, so if files have and the files ID file IDs start with a G underscore, it's global file. Else, it's a project file. Um, past midnight in here indeed. It is in fact midnight. It's only four p.m. where I am. I have a three-day weekend coming up. Three-day weekend. Ina. <laughs> One thing about working for yourself, or at least trying to work for yourself, like I am doing, um, off days don't really exist anymore. <laughs> Especially as a stay at home dad, it's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of busy and. I don't think many people will watch the stream anyway, but we're actually expecting a second kit. So yeah, my, my wife has been having morning sickness like very heavily. And it's called morning sickness, but it lasts the entire day. Monday is Easter. Ooh, I have to hide some tamago, some eggs. <laughs>
Mm. Let's just add this on here. It's not how I would want to do it, but it's easy for my brain to handle right now. Well, technically Easter is Sunday, but the following Monday is off. Yeah, I remember from my school period, the extended vacations. I didn't like those because the library was always closed the next day. I wonder if it's possible in Godot to just have like var dictionary and link it, have, have a link to an other dictionary. Can I do that? Because that would actually save some amount of code that, I'm, that I have to use now. Now, by the way, I'm using the Dolphin file manager again and I'm just using um, Papyrus for the, I for the icons. The moment that I use Breeze Dark, I've always kind of have to, had trouble with it, but I kind of like the style, but it was getting kind of annoying because half of my icons were black for some reason. Um, oh. For people with a migraine, eyes in your neck, best way, best way. Dictionaries are passed by reference. I, I, I will blame it on my migraine right now, but I, I, I don't, let, let, let's just test, let's just test. So a dictionary. Dick. But I should probably not say that on stream if people are just watching. Um, if you want to, a separate copy, yeah, dot duplicate. Yeah, okay, that, that could actually save a couple of lines of code. Um, dick is dick. Um, and she's there. Oh. Yeah, okay, that that works. Okay. I'll 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 be right back. My 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 kid pooped.
and I'm back. And oh, dictionaries, arrays, and object-derived classes are passed by reference. And the only things that are not passed by reference in Godot are basic tasks like in string. Okay. Yeah, that was something I never really like understood, and that that actually make it, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that that's that's actually very helpful to know. Something else that is very helpful to know. This is a diaper. Wow. <laughs> it has a yellow line for like all future parents or people with kids. There's a yellow line here. When a kid pees, this becomes blue. When you wait too long, the blue also disappears. When the blue is gone, then it's basically changed immediately. <laughs> If this becomes blue, it's not a sign that you should change directly. You can wait a little bit. <laughs> well, I have a lot of cables on my desk right now. And my screen. I saw that I was not sharing my screen. I, I like this tool. Okay. So, well. Oh. I'll save my kids. So, I should just to... I can just do folder data if global else Okay, so I basically don't need any of this code then. I can just use this this and file data. Oh, whoops. And that's why it's very helpful to have you in the chat slander. <laughs> I'm the one making a video editor, but you're the one with all the knowledge. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, th I think that's fine. Okay, so, well, then I shall basically off. I already changed so much in here as well. Um. So we don't need this anymore. By the way, my, my keyboards, let's see if I can show it. It does not look very great with these gray buttons now, but they're not jumping off anymore. I'm actually having a good time programming again because it's not every five seconds that I have to go like, oh no, where's my key this time? I keep them on my, on my desk though. <laughs> They became part of my um, decoration. <laughs> the only thing I don't understand in Godot is that strings are not passed by reference, while a string is an array of characters, basically. Yeah, but I think if they were to pass a string by reference, it could cause problems for certain, uh, like for, for people, I think. I don't think many people actually like use the whole reference system of dictionaries that much. Um. Losing keys, always a problem. <laughs> I actually never have that problem. I have... I, okay, I won't say never, but I have almost never lost my keys. I don't know how. But I, that's what, like that's like one of the things that I never lose. But I'm also quite um, paranoia. I will check my pockets 
like where my uh, cipher, where my wallet is, and where my phone is. I will check those every five minutes, or like even every minute, to see if they're still there. Um, so yeah, I, I tend not to really lose things because I just overly check the entire time. Funny thing happened, um, th this, this is from some time ago, but my wife almost forgot about our kids. She dropped off my kids, uh, well our kid, at her parents' house because they lived close by and she went shopping. She was going to pick him up after shopping, but she completely forgot about it. <laughs> <sighs> My wife does not watch these streams, so I can kind of say whatever I want. <laughs> Compulsive obsessional troubles. Um, I just never felt safe in Belgium walking around. And I think that's how I got used to keep checking my pockets. Um, yeah. I never really felt safe walking around in Belgium, and last time when I was there, it was even worse. I'm very much the type to forget about anything and everything. <laughs> well, I kind of have that when programming, so yeah. I, th I think everybody has that to a certain degree. Okay, this one is fixed. Um... File data if global. Oh, did I remove that? No. I shall just copy these. A free mind. <laughs> I, I wish that every now and then I could just forget about anything, about everything. That I don't have anything on my mind. I wonder how the game engine from our guy in the discords is going. Okay, I think these are everything. So normally if I run it, it should not give an uh, error. Um, oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. I forgot about these. Okay, that makes this code a lot shorter. Normally this should work. So if I add a folder. Normally if I save, why does it not save the folders right now? I thought I had a shortcut set up. So let's take that. Um, project manager. Apparently, it is called obsessive compulsive disorder in English. So. So you have maybe that's part of my migraines. Apparently, it's also related to stress. <laughs> um, we still have two viewers on Twitch. Who are the two viewers on Twitch right now? I I know Slender has it open, but who's the other person? I wonder, how do you actually grow on Twitch? Oh wait, you can have different layouts. Uh, 
Um, add to that. Oh, um, I don't actually have the safe thing. Yet. Okay, let's quickly implement that. Um, Inputs if event dot it is is action released, kinda. Save project. Whoops. Okay, so if I create a folder now, add a folder, save. Oh yeah, it's it's there. Okay, but it does not say that there are unsafe changes right now. So that's something I should. Hmm. Set unsafe changes. True. So in here, else project manager dot set unsafe changes to true, and let's just copy paste this. Um. Oh wait. Why, why did I do this? File data arrays file idea. Okay, I don't think these are supposed to be here. Okay. Else. Oh, oops. Else. Okay, and if I add a folder here now, normally the title should have a mark next to it. Yes, it has a mark next to it indicating that there are unsafe changes. Okay, so that works. And if I save, it's gone. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that we got to a point that every stream has around eight viewers. Like, almost steadily, seven, eight viewers. Communication and suggestions from eh? communication and the suggestions from Twitch itself. How do you mean? Ah. Oh, hi! <laughs> Welcome. It's kind. It's kind of. A, my my kid became very quiet. Recently, he really likes watching documentaries. I don't know from who he has that. <laughs> um. I... Mm. No, 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 I'm not going, I'm not gonna mess with that anymore, okay. So that all works normally. Um, oh wow, hi! We have 10 views at the moment. We're almost at a, at a new record. Okay, this is updating slowly, I think. YouTube chat says right now that there are 10. Oh, no, yeah, no, it also says that there are 10 people watching here, but not over here. Oh yeah, now it updates. We suddenly got three new people, hi! <laughs> Welcome. Uh, we also stream on Twitch right now, but please stay on YouTube. <laughs> I will try it for the next couple of streams to stream on both Twitch and YouTube. If it ends up not really working on Twitch and nobody really joins, I'll just stop 
multi-streaming because in the end it takes more process uh, processing power and if I start working more on the DD extension stuff I will need my processor uh, okay I'm too tired to continue I think I'm gonna sleep now good night <laughs> thanks for joining okay um dun 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 hmm I'd like to focus on renaming. Yeah, I don't think we have renaming right now in the tree. No. I wonder if there is a way to rename things directly built in. I don't think there is. Um, nope, there's no renaming built in. Sometimes I wish that like this whole settings menu and such like all these Godot engine rela editor related things were also just nodes or at least like an extension that you can add to also have this, this kind of an option without having to do everything yourself. I wonder out of which things these are actually made, which n nodes, like this is probably just a, a grid? With like the thing in a uh, button in the middle. What well, node is it actually made out of? Okay, let's let's dive into the Godot code. I'm kind of curious because it will be helpful for the settings menu to create that kind of a style. I know it just loads in a config file, I think. Um, Godot. I'm multi-streaming right now, so I don't think uh, updating this is a good idea right now. Um, but I should probably go to the master branch again. Um, so, editor. Now, export GUI. Editor, bottom panel, um, file dialog. Also, we have the editor file dialog in here. Okay. I've actually been considering of putting more code inside of the GD extension. I think I talked about it in the latest blog posts. So, by the way, I have a site and these advertisements are big. I recently got AdSense enabled. I'm still kind of tweaking it so it's not this annoying and covering half of the stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fan of a lot of advertisements, but it could be a way to have something extra. So finishing one test until April. So the window and editor UI, that's basically finished. Um, I, I, won't, I won't really touch the overall style anymore. Not really needed, I think. I think it looks nice right now. What, what do you guys think of the new layout? What do you think of this smaller border? I'm thinking of making all the borders. Only like two pixels wide. What do you guys think of the current style of like the sidebar and the top bar? Also in the sidebar, if you notice, the marker of which tab you're on, it's smooth. <laughs> I kind of want to have a little bit of animations in it and I remembered how I did it in another application, so... Was not aware, <laughs> aware there were ads there. Yeah, that's the thing, if you if you create a site for developers, most of the time they have some sort of ad blocker installed. Um, same for YouTube, so ad revenue for developers, it's oftentimes a lot higher compared to AdSense for gaming YouTubers. Um, first of all, um, developing tools are more expensive than games, so the essence for that is already higher. I would extend the timeline to the left. Well, that is actually possible. Um, well, it is not possible right now. It is possible, but not possible. So the default layout is actually made up like this. Um, if I open it like this, normally that should work. Nope, that does not work. Um, normally that should work. Oh no, there are problems. Okay, no. Um, yeah, so you cannot start any scene just randomly. So you can switch all the modules between these places. I will change the system. Uh, 
I've been trying to get a drag and drop system working so you can very freely decide where everything goes. Um, you probably won't be able to like tap certain boxes and you'll have to use oh, and you'll have to use the different layouts right right now if you press page up page down you can switch between the different layouts you also have control commands control one two three to switch between all your commands you have until nine um, because there are no keys of 10 11 12 on the keyboards but yeah it, it's the, the default layout, it's something I probably won't change until the alpha because I really want to get the uh, timeline and such out. But yeah, you will be able to make the timeline take up all the space and it's also something I kind of prefer. So if I take a look at Skate and Life, I, I got it kind of okay. I have the effects on this side because it's easier to drag in, but it should take up as much space as possible. Also something I, I I have not talked about that yet, um, but I don't think Gozen will support video thumbnails, at least not from version 1. The thing is, oh, how did you make this, this switch system? Um, oh, now, now you're asking a fun question, because I'm actually kind of happy with the way that I do this. So if you go to the editor UI, um, wait, I should probably explain first. So. The, there won't be any thumbnails and everything will be kind of in a minimized style. I, I want everything to look as cleanly as possible. So all the images, all the thumbnails are gone. You will have waveforms for the audio and you will be able to expand the track heights. But by default, it will be kind of minimized to give you as much space as possible so the project view can be as big as possible. On Caden Live, for some reason, this is a maximum. I don't know if it's because of the effects panel, so let's... Let's change this. Maybe that's that's why. Okay, so no, it's it's from the effects panel, but then you can do the timeline like this. That also does not really, really make sense. Um, yeah. So okay, the the whole switching system. So we have a sidebar V box, and we have a layout container. The layout container is a tab container, and all the buttons in the side of the sidebar are basically. Um, buttons that control the current tab of the layout container. So if you go into the script of this thing, um, moving the layout as well, you can move layouts. That's also something that's working. You can also change the icon. So if you change the icon, not normally there should be a dialog popping up, but could not activate remote pair, startup job failed. It's again a free desktop portal desktop error. <sighs> okay. No more native dialogues. Notes. Buggy mess on Linux. Okay, so normally, normally this will work now. Oh, oops. So you can change the icon. Um, you can also move them up. You can move them down. If you move them up, you're still in the current tab. Oh, um, this thing does not change position. Oh, that's... I'm, I'm not using Sway, I'm using um, i3 with um, X11. I want to use Valence and I kind of don't want to because I'm too used to X11 and to i3 and I don't really have that much problems with it, so yeah. Um, Something that really gets annoying in Kaden Live for me is the preview one. But it looks like it fits nicely on the bottom of the left bar, Uncle Zen. Huh? Something that really gets annoying in Kaden Live for me is the preview one. Which preview one? Um...
Wits preview. This one? The project monitor? I got two layouts on K on K Live right now for subtitles, but I I don't use the system anymore. It's so buggy. It's making subtitles in K on Live is a nightmare. It it just does not want to work properly. And sometimes you add texts, and the text is not appearing on the bottom. It suddenly jumps in like random locations of the screen. Yeah. Uh, 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 yesterday I tried to edit a video and I already had my migraine as well and everything just kept breaking. I, I think I even recorded a video about it. Um, I, I was I was getting so frustrated. Videos. Um, no, um, you, um, YouTube, Pumpkin.Journey. Okay. So this is what was happening yesterday on Caden Live when I was editing a video. So you see right now like the effects are properly applied. But the moment that I went to another clip, suddenly all the effects were gone. The effects were already disabled on the video file itself, and for some reason they were enabled on the on track one and not on track two, enabling the the effects on the file itself did not change anything it was basically stuck even when removing all the effects the effects were still applied to track number one and you can see the icon it's not light up there were no effects for that track i had the two video boxes by the uh, by default yeah i yeah I, I don't really want to deal with that kind of uh, stuff like I don't even think because then we'll have a preview box until somebody makes it um, yeah it, it could be helpful to have the preview stuff but yeah so yeah, I basically yesterday I was I was struggling a lot with this because I already almost edited the entire video and to have that problem pop up suddenly again because this problem I've been having for as long as I can remember <laughs> It, it was really frustrating me. Like, it did not matter what I did, it kept. Yeah. The bottom of the left bar. So, you, you mean like a preview on here? On like the sidebar? The, well, the, the plan as well is um, to make my own dialogue and file explorer for, for Gozen. I'll probably take this as like a base. Because I feel like if I want to make it performant enough, I, like I, I, I'm like I really starting to think to switch a lot of things over to the, the extensions. Just to increase performance a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm not certain if performance will be that big of a problem. But yeah. Right now, everything seems to be fine when I when I run. There are a lot of icons being taken up. The oh wow, the icon of the editor itself right now is taking up three megabytes, and the startup image is taking up two megabytes. That, that's that's something I could probably easily change. Um, Asset startup images. I think I could easily change this. Does WebP work in Godot? Let's test out. Oh, did I have it? Okay, it's fine. Does it work? Let's see. Assets. I added a lot more icons. Okay, it works. 
the PNG takes up. Wait, how does it take up two megabytes if the file itself only takes up 330 kilobytes? Hmm. Yeah, first use the D script, then update to the D extent if performance are not high enough. Yeah, it, it, I'm saying that I will start switching things out to GD extension, but on, like I will only go through the trouble if it actually would cause an issue. Um, there are certain things that I already know will be an issue that I should probably switch to GD extension, but I'm also ch uh, thinking about changing some of the functionality of the FFM pack stuff to GD script to have better implementation for people who want to make modules. So like, I, I, again, I don't really know how many people will actually make modules for Gozen, but it will be helpful to have that kind of thing prepared. Does WebP also have transparency? Alpha quality, yeah, yeah, it has transparency, okay. Most important move is to static type everything first. Yeah, I've actually been taking some time to, like, I think there was like one commit that was mainly, me oh, whoops. Um, where is my graph? Oh no, I have not. And below, I had to install my system again. I, I'm kind of glad that I installed my system again. I, I honestly had no idea how big of an improvement it will be. A clean install from Arts really fixed a lot of my previous issues. Okay, um, get craft. Um, default team. I think scripts update had a lot of yeah, this this one probably had a lot of static typing changes. That's why they're only like four lines, one line, eight lines. I did not know that WebP has animation. And so probably like the icons don't take up that much space. But I I think it will probably be better to also change the icons to WebP. Um uh, let's let's quickly test something. Um, UI startup. Okay. Startup screen. Let's change the stop image to WebP. Does it use the WebP now? I have no idea. Okay, and let's remove the PNG. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoops. Um, the, the, some of the layouts, I, I used it as like a placeholder for now. Like performance, performance will be big thing to take in mind and I don't know how performance will be when you actually edit like a full on video like a video of like an hour or something and that's something that I'm worried about right now because I have not been able to test any video importing yet a, a lot will probably be able to get fixed by just um, tweaking the FFM pack stuff a little bit Debugger, um, video RAM, especially if video RAM is going to be an important one. Why? Why is it still taking up so much space in memory? Uh, hmm. Do you mean web, web M or kind of GIF integrated? Hmm. Web P. I think yesterday I, I made a comment on the Discord, like, 
for thumbnails on YouTube. If you download a thumbnail on YouTube, you get it as a WebP format, but you cannot upload WebP natively for the video thumbnail on YouTube. Which does not make any sense to me. Yeah, if you do any website development, use the WebP format. It saves up a lot of data. Oh, well. I will I will really need to use this closely in the future to make certain that there are no performance issues. Um Why is there a physics process running? Um, navigation. Static memory is also not much right now. If I if I just run like this, normally it should not take too much. Um, visual profile, no. Video memory is at 40, I hope. Well, I, I hope I can take it down, but I'll like make it go down, but it's probably not going to be that big of a problem in the beginning anyway. So, yeah, bye-bye PNG. I'll probably do the same for the icons later on. I won't do that on stream. I'll probably create a script that converts everything because I, I honestly can't be bothered to put them all into um, GIMP and change them hand by hand. Oh yeah, the bug reporting tool. So we can report bugs now, yay! So this is actually, like, I thought it was finished, but I, I forgot to put one important thing. Um, but I, I still need to think of how I will do it. I was planning on taking the log file that it creates, because we have the printer. The printer prints this wall of text, and it also saves to a file. It has your Gozen version, your distribution, OS, processor, the amount of threads you have, the amount of RAM available, um, the video adapter, and the name, API type, and also if it's a debug build or not. So this information will be helpful to also have in the debug reports. I'm not certain if I'll be able to implement this before Alpha comes out, because right now we use Google Forms, and Google Forms has certain limitations limitations when like I don't know if it's a limitation or it's just the way that I set it up maybe I did something wrong that's also possible but I could not get this file to send with the um, I could not get this file to send with the form so if you go to bug reports oh. so I Think. Yeah, okay, no, there's, there's, I can show everything. So it's, it's very simple. So when it's about to pop up, it just clears the text from the previous time. Um, closing the pop-up pop uses the pop-up manager. Normally that should only make it invisible. So next time when you open it up, it goes quickly. On submit, text, uh, on submit button pressed. Description goes back to zero. Uh, if the description is zero, it will just cancel it. There's no reason to do anything else beside that. Oh, wow. Suddenly active. Hi. Hi, Joshua. Um, do you have an idea how you would create a format that encapsulates everything the project needs? A format that you could transport without worrying about losing files? Because .gozen is, a reference, is referencing parts, if I understand. Um, can you show how the print wall methods... Um, to encapsulate all the files right now, the a project file, let's... Yeah, let's go here. Um, storage, so dot goes n. Dot goes n right now is just a text file. Um, it has the notes, it has, and files will have the path to include the files inside of it. I 
it, it is something that I've been thinking about. So you can easily switch projects. And I've been thinking about just creating um, the option that if people would add a a folder called videos or like data in the same folder as a .gozen file, that the the path would have a reference to that folder next to the gozen file. So it would not take the full path. So that way, if you export the .gozen file together with the data folder, it would have all the things and all the files from the data folder will also be included inside of the project. If you add a file to the data folder, it will directly go into the main tree. Oh, let's move this one up again. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I, f I found a bug, apparently. Um, so yeah, um, it would appear in the root folder and you can then change the location of that folder. It won't take the folder structure from data, but I, I guess nothing limits us from creating the creating a system, a system for that. Yeah, you could just zip that data folder together with the .gozen folder and just share that to people. I, I don't think it would make much sense to put the files themselves, like the data of the files, inside of the .gozen file, because that would just make it very laggy and very unreadable if you have more than one video stored in it, by example. Okay, can you show the print wall method? Mm, the print wall method. Um, basically, if you print, uh, if you start the project, this is what you get. It's in purple right now. Um, it's not too readable, but that's kind of on purpose. But if you go into the user data folder, uh, you can see the, the logs. I think, nope. Wait, oh, no, wait, wait no, no, no. Um, because I test so much, I actually have it disabled. So the moment, um, it does not create a log if the singleton edited interface is on. Uh, if it has a singleton called edited interface. Because else I have a little bit too many log files. Um, slightly off topic, but have you seen the latest GIMP alpha? GIMP is finally getting non-destructive effects. Super excited for stable. I am looking for... GIMP, I really like that program. I, I don't know why people are so against it. Um, I often hear like negative things about it. I like it. The only thing I wish is that layers, I want to be able to select them. I, I want to be able to select multiple layers. Why can I not select multiple layers? Even if you put them in a group, if you, if you put them in a group, I try to like move the group itself. Sometimes it will, ju it will just take the, ah. Oh. Yeah, like I tried Krita and I tried some other tools as well, but oh wow, I've actually never had GIMP crash. That's new. <laughs> Everything can happen on a stream. Um, I'm um, slightly off topic, but have you seen the latest GIMP Alpha? GIMP is finally getting non-destructive effects. Super excited for stable. Um, not necessarily the exact compression algorithm, but it's just a... Uh, um, Making the gozen and uh, .gozen an archive file with custom hierarchy. Um, oh, I could do that. The problem is those .gozen files may get quite. Yeah, I, I think that uh, the .gozen files will become quite big. It 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 could be possible. Like it, it's. There's not really anything limiting from being able to do that, and it is something I've also been planning as well because. I want Cosent to also be able to run on a server that you can edit everything at your, um, if you have a very crap computer like I have, that, that you can run all the hard handling stuff of the data on a server and just have the like preview and the editing tools on your PC. So it is something I've been considering and being able to switch it easily to like a render server and such by just transferring the entire project, that will be, that will be awesome.
Thank you for the answer. Continue your good work. I, I hope it's good work. <laughs> I really like your videos. Thank you for everything. The blender idea is also nice. Um, eh? I'm making um, cool to it like Blender does, where by default everything is reference, but you have the option to pack the files into the project file. That that's that will probably be a better a better solution. Um, but again, we will need some kind of like zip format to be able to achieve that. I don't know how difficult it will be to include that kind of a, uh, a thing directly into Godot. That's my only worry. How easy will it be to implement that? Well, I was able to implement FFM pack into Godot, so it's probably going to be possible. <laughs> like I'm thinking it will be a problem, but it probably won't even be that big of a problem. Probably be easier than an FFM pack. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, no, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So add to log hour. I should probably have like some kind of thing here. Nah. Mm. ZSTD. If it's a tool that's very easily available on PCs, then the FFM pack diploma it is cool. <laughs> uh, FFM pack. Um, I I I I am slowly getting used to the whole FFM pack FFM pack stuff again. But yeah. The, uh, um, render. Like a lot of these functions right now, I really want to kind of port to GD scripts. So it's just easy for modules themselves. If people want to, by example, create a module that can render out specific parts of a video with like one click, they should be able to. They, do, they should not have to go through the entire process of going to the render menu, selecting the area. That they can just have their custom timeline with that module or just that module that they can, yeah. I, I have a lot of ideas for Gozen and I'm I'm try I'm really trying to limit myself so that I can actually get a working version as soon as possible because I was thinking of getting the actual version right uh, like at the end of this month but that won't happen that that that's that really is already not really a possibility anymore. Um, for the people who joined later, this this is eyes in my neck. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's not a fashion choice, this thing. Um, what was I working on again? I, yeah, I think the, the tree. So the three, three items. Do three items have a kind of like a way of renaming them? The raise button. Nope. So. I'll have to implement that myself as well. So if you press F2, I think there's just an overlay. I um, I don't actually think there's like something built in. It returns a dictionary containing the range parameters of a given column. I oh, know that's for the column. Is it like a way to directly get like the dimensions of a tree item and like the position? Okay, so get get button by idea, but that's a tree item. Can I? No, that, that's first, that, that I just, oh, quoting, Recom recompressing all packages to ZSTD with our options yields a total of 0.8% increase in packet size. 
on all of our packages combined. But the decompression time for all PKG saw a... Oh! To XZ. Yeah, it's it's something I I, I should probably put that. Um, no, GitHub. Let's go to the project. Let, let, let's just add that as a note or something. This is being, and uh, this is in progress. No, I should, I should probably add it as an issue itself, kinda. I think that will probably make more sense. Uh, no, repositories. Cause then, issue, uh, feature requests. Let's quickly add that. Um, have I'll call them bundles for now. Um, C X was it, eh? Um, uh, X C. Let's just take a quick notes of all this. Welcome back. Uh, make an option to export the project into an archive, archive of some sort. Um, to easily export projects between systems. Nice. I will only do that for like version one, probably. I, I I'm I, I don't I don't even think that will be for version one. Also, I've been thinking about the versioning system. That's something I kind of wanted to like also discuss. So right now we use um, major, minor, and patch. So version one point zero zero. But wow, the webcam is doing strange again. Oh well. Um, I don't think I will be able to keep up that number and like actually pay enough attention to it to make that whole versioning system work properly. And because it's also a mo supposed to be a modular video editor, I don't think it th gives much point in having that kind of a versioning system in the first place. So I've been thinking about just going to a calendar style system. So just year, month, day. The versioning system would not change that much to like receive uh, like the pop-up for the messages and such and people will know from when a certain version is if they use a very out-of-date version or not so yeah what do you think what do you guys think about switching the versioning system well it, it goes that right now it's still a work in progress there's still no alpha so I, I feel like if I want to switch the versioning system the, well, the, yeah, the versioning system. I think right now is probably the best time to do so. So, yeah, trying that out there. Oh. Um, basically... Software versioning. So, instead of using... Oh, this kind of a system, we will be using more of a 
a date of release, a calendar versioning. Uh, same that uh, Ubuntu does, but also um, Jet, JetBrains. Oh, oops. JetBrains tools also kind of does that. If you go to write about example, 2023, 3, 4. It's just an idea. LZMA? What is LZMA? Compression? Okay, compression stuff. Yeah, cool, it could be a possibility. It, it's something I will look into later. Oh, add this. Um, Add this to the inbox, okay. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else. I'll, I'll probably just assign myself to this. Yeah. Let's get the project open if I have other ideas. LibreOffice switch to Culver as well. I, I I feel like Culver, it it's like the calendar versioning system. It has... It has more benefits. You have to worry less about like which version number you give it. Because right now, like if you look at, um, let's take Godot by example. What is the biggest difference between 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3? Like what made it change that number? Um, maybe, maybe there is something, but I cannot clearly tell anyway. So, and I think a lot of people will not really care about that. Oh, money. Oh. I got to call the 3 a.m. quit. See you next time. Oh, <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> 3 a.m. Um, that's the time that I wake up when I am in a bad. Yeah, when I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I cannot call the last time that I stayed up so late. Well, thank you for joining the stream and good night. Um. Is there anybody watching on Twitch right now? We have two viewers on Twitch. I don't know who. <laughs> um, when I maintain my own Linux, I use the Culver as well. Yeah, I, 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 I think, I think we already discussed the versioning system as well, and we were, yeah, at that time I was already kind of thinking like, oh, if I have to take that in mind every single time. I, yeah, it, it will be easier to just have it in the build as well, in the build system, in the build file, that it replaces the versioning by whatever month and day it is. So it, it will take one of the worries away by releasing new version that I don't forget to update the versioning because it goes automatically. And again, like who, it, it could be like a big thing, like, oh, it's version four, it's version three. You want to share your cat? Kruma mm. Misetai? Mm. It's toy! <laughs> oh, no, Mata? Oh! <coughs> oh! Okay, diaper duty! Diaper duty! Oh! Um. Oh, oh, what did you? Oh, stop. Oh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I need an idea. Oh, stop. Oh, oh, yes, you're smelly. Oh, wow.
のねえじゃねえおおわおおおわおおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおわおもうくっさでパークを持つ納豆を持つと、私はワッシュね。お、気をつけてね。大丈夫うーん。あ、私は帰る。こ<笑>え Was I? What? Eh? Oh! Oh, oh, um. <laughs> okay, so, um. My BRB screen is all、uh, Windows 1, and yeah. I must have pressed f o r f o r is my coffee screen. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um, okay, wait, what, what was being said?、Um, okay, that, that's. I should be more careful. <laughs> um, Yeah, we did that on Discord.、Uh, in Discord, yeah. The, the whole versioning things. Meanwhile, Blender on 2.x for 20 years. Exactly. Like, I, I, don't, I don't really see much. Like, it, it may be a good versioning system if you have like, a final version that you won't really get any more updates. But a calendar versioning system probably works better the moment that you have an actually working thing.、Um, a new issue to add. Um, we will hear C. v o r d e n puking on stream.、Um, I, I, I can handle the smell quite well recently.、Um, it's, but it, it, it's bad. And especially I, yesterday he ate、um, can,、uh, the filling of gyoza. It has、uh, ginger inside,、uh, it has garlic inside, and every single time when he eats that the day after, oh. Yeah, the smell is still hanging around here, so yeah. I take bets, don't be wishful. The worst, pr the worst problem,、uh, problem Voilin is facing in Gozen developments. Yeah. 
He's a very big distraction. The worst problem is probably him trying to play with my PC because the button, my own button, has like a nice light around it. That makes him really want to press it. Oh well, um, what was I doing again? Um, I don't really need this one. Bug report, yeah. I've been trying my best to put the articles on here, but the site still has a lot of issues. Right, right now, this is touching the border and ugh. I, I, I like work, uh, WordPress and I hate it at the same time. Um, so yeah, test. Project works, this works, so the data is saving correctly. Um, something I, I first want to fix because this can cause issues. If you change the layout, this does not change and you have to... Pr Why? This is not a timeline. This is. A... Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, I think I know what's going wrong. Um, so, move layout, move layouts. Move charts. Oh, this is the reason. So if I do this, nope. Why is this not working properly? Hmm. hmm. Can we ask AdSense to provide dark mode ads only? Yeah, that, that would honestly be a big help because it, it's kind of blinding. Um, I, I don't know what kind of like things I get. Like this is this is for uh, a dentist thing. Wh why? Like I know my teeth aren't perfect, but Oh, so you should never really click the ads on your own website because that's actually against the whole AdSense thing. Even on a YouTube channel, if you have a YouTube channel, you're not actually supposed to watch your own videos through the platform itself because if you see the ad or click on the ad, you can get into trouble. Oh, whoops, I forgot my kid's pants. Okay, he has more clothes on now. <laughs> okay, um, so something is not going correctly here and I don't know why. Um, let me move the layout. Layout, get notes. Just discovered that there is a zip packer and a zip reader in Godot. Yeah, I, I I know that I I know that there's a functionality for that, but I I remember there being some limitations with it. Like, oh whoops. So you have um files. Uh, well, gzip. I'm looking. Oh yeah, zip reader and such. And zip packer. It, it, uh, to my idea, there were there were issues with it. I don't remember what exactly, but yeah, 
Yeah, the PCK files are also zipped. Um, what, what was the issue again? I, I, I remember there being something. Mm, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out when the time comes and that I'm working on that. But why does this not work? Why? Why? What is going wrong here? Let, let, let's see what happens in the remotes. Um, no. No. So has, um, let, let's close startup. So I have edited side panel. Something is going wrong in here, I think. So we move this down. Off topic, I have been compiling Plasma 6 on 12 threads now, almost past two hours. Yeah. Like, what, what is it, Gentoo? Gentoo that does, uh, that you have to compile everything yourself. Like, I have 12 threads. I, 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 it still takes ages to compile Godot even. It's supposed to be the timeline. Why are these buttons not updating? Wait, why does it remove the custom icon? move layout She'll do that. Over here. Editor. Okay, why does it not work when I do move layout up? Okay, wait. I go down. Okay, 
So I shall probably do this. Oh, oops. No, no, yeah, no. They are down. <laughs> okay, so the buttons change, but the... Oh, wait. Um. No, I don't know. Um. Wait, what happens if you press a button? Add a button. How does the button get added? Um, the connect change. Oh. Uh. Um. Okay, so can I do this into a funk and just return so, um, pattern dot get index? Oh. Cannot confirm. <sighs> but that will. Oh, whoops. That won't work. How about this minus one? <sighs> How about I just funk? Okay, works. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. Um, okay, so edited, but that book is fixed. Back to the tree. How do we import files? If I um, pictures, I was just going to. Um, I want to import this picture. How three notes? Where are my glasses? Oh, 
No. Um, on I item icon double clicked, item edited, item collapsed. Wait, is this? No. Well, hold on. No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Um. I remember there being something about like dropped. Nope. If like a file got dropped, no, that's in a window manager. That's a window manager. Um. um. Oh yeah, no, no, that's just dropping inside of... Oh, whoops. How can I get... Oh, window files dropped. Okay, um... Window dot files... Get window dot files dropped. Connect. Funk. Let's do something quickly. Print and normally this should give something. Oh, give us that one. Yeah, my eyes is gone. <laughs> um, okay, so normally if I will drop this inside of here. Okay, but can I get like... I will need to get a selected folder for that, so... Um, I'll quick look at my cats, he's doing something again. Does Godot support drag and drop over Linux? Um, thanks for developing Godot. <laughs> eh? Where do I know that, fr that name from? Yeah, from Discord kind of. Mm. Thanks for developing Godot. <laughs> You're welcome. Sorry that it's taking a long time. <laughs> Coming from the OS, yes. Dropping the OS, nope. Okay. Uh, dropping to the OS, yeah. Uh, dropping files out of out of Godot. That's something I've been trying to get working. Um, for the main reason, I cannot find any good file manager. I'm using Dolphin right now. It works, but I've been struggling too much with it. I kind of want to stop using it. Um.
I am using, oops. Why is, I am using arts by the way. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm using Arts with i3. Um, the team that I use is Breeze Dark, Icons, uh, Papyrus Dark, Terminal Alquity, um, Terminal Font Monospace. I, I was. I thought I changed that, but yeah. Um, I, I always use the LTS kernel, so I recently installed everything again through the Arts install thing from the Arts. Um, from the uh, bootable USB. Kind of. A fun, uh, uh, an easier way of installing arts. I've always been, by the way. <laughs> yeah, installing arts recently is really not that big of a problem anymore. It's it's actually rather easy. I use arts for the main reason I can keep everything simple, and that that's honestly the only thing that I care about. Wait, why does it give... Why does it say that I dropped that file two times? Why... And there goes the battle cry again. I honestly don't know where that whole thing comes from, from like, I use arts by the way. It's really not difficult. It, like, I, I don't understand like the whole commotion around it. Like, yes, it's more like DIY and that's about it. I. The only problem that you can have is that, that you yourself do something wrong. Or an update that kind of messes things up but it's still your decision to update your system if you never update it it's fine um let's hope nobody's complaining on twitch nope <laughs> yeah at this point i don't know if i will continue twitch streaming um only one view so far i i don't really see how i can grow on twitch it's just a meme at this point i, I think so in the beginning, when I inst when I tried arts, it was more difficult to set up, and I remember having a lot of trouble with it. But after like my second, my third time, it started going quite smoothly. Like I knew which parts take uh, take an account to be careful of, but I never really had that much trouble with installing arts. Um, well, this time I installed arts with PyPyre, but I don't know why. Did not work properly, so I switched back to Pulse Audio. But I'm using System System D, uh, System Boot or something. Um, I switched from Grub because one of the things that has broken on me twice on my install was Grub. So I don't care about all the functions of Grub, so I went to something easier, something that works without too much trouble. Maybe posting in chat. Um, oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, whoops. Manjaro is a good arc base if anyone interested. I used Manjaro to begin with, but the main reason of me wanting to use art was to keep everything to a minimum amount. I, I want to know what's on my system. I don't want to have all pre-installed packages that I don't know or don't need. Um, this is mainly because I used to use a very old tablet to work because I, when I started traveling to Japan, I was actually I'm uh, planning on making a whole world trip, so I want something small and compact. So I had like a small Windows tablet. Um, yeah, ended up meeting my wife, coming to Japan only for her, and yeah. Um, long story short, I sticked in Japan instead of traveling. But because of that tiny left, uh, tiny tablet, I did not have that much space. And a lot of the distros take too much space, and I kind of like the Pac-Man system from Manjaro. Because I, before switching to arts, I used Manjaro. And Manjaro. <laughs> Is it Italian? Sounds kind of fun. Um, but yeah, since that moment, I've been always wanting to keep everything to a minimum. Like, 
even the amount of clothes I have. If you see me in, the, in videos with the same clothes, it's because I only have like four or five t-shirts. My pants, I basically have three pants. Like I, I keep everything to a minimum. I've always been like that ever since I started traveling a lot. It's just a lot less headaches of having, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't need to worry too much about having too many things. Um, Don, I'm following you on Twitch, yay. <laughs> We're almost at 10 followers. <laughs> I, I don't know from what time you can have like monetization enabled on, like, like become like an affiliate or something. I don't know from what point that happens, but yeah. On, on YouTube, I still have, I still have a long way to go. Like YouTube has two, two levels. You have your first level and then you have your second level. It's only at the second level that you actually earn from AdSense, from ad revenue. And I'm only at 2,000 hours. From uh, 3,000 twice hours, I can get uh, memberships. I don't really know if I will do memberships on on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I, I prefer to, uh, that people just use the coffee stuff. Thanks for following on Twitch. And I use my Jaro daily since a few years, no problem. Yeah, I don't know why I actually switched from Manjaro to plain arts, like mainly because of the file size stuff. And also just, I just wanted to know what's on my system and I just liked having control over everything. Uh, I'm not a control freak by any means. <laughs> Embraced kiss. Um, kiss. Keep infrastructure super simple. Um, I'm just guessing at this point. And Devro is install is lighter than Arc uh, Arts meta packages. By the way, yeah, I I could keep this so switching, but I I I I had this period. Like I think everybody has a spirit in the beginning that they start using Linux. It's like oh let's use this distro, let's use this distro. But after some time, you realize that they're all very similar to each other. And yeah, there's not really that much point in switching between things. Just use a package manager that you prefer and go with that. Like for me, the only actual distros are Debian, Mint and Arc and Fedora. But except for those, like, yes, you, ha you have Ubuntu, you have Lubuntu, Xubuntu. Ubuntu or something. I, I I don't know. You have you have so many things. You have Manjaro. You have Zero OS, I think. Um, you have Gentoo as well. Like yeah, Gentoo is also more of like an actual distro. But all those like sub branches of distros, I, I, I yeah. Keep it stupidly simple. Keep it simple. Yeah, uh, keep it simple. Stupid. That, yeah, yeah. I, I I've heard of that one before. That was like the main phrase of my network management teacher. Keep it super simple, but then he required us to write down everything that we did on the system. Like, uh, I installed this program, uh, I edited this program and added these lines. We had to keep a whole thing. MX distro, what's MX distro? I like how these live stream sessions are mainly chatting with every now and then a little bit of programming. <laughs> Midweight simple stable desktop OS. Like uh, some time ago, there was somebody who made a um, kind of like a desktop environment, like an OS with Godot. I kind of wonder to how far you can push the idea of using Godot as an operating system. Well, I, 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 um, together with R's now, like as a desktop environment. I, I, I wonder, like, it uses, like, with OpenGL, can you render the context of other applications, like Qt applications, inside of Godot? If that will be possible, you could basically create, like, a whole working desktop environment with Godot. Some breaks are fine. Well, well, right now, some breaks are especially fine because my, my head, like, 
I got I got used to all the migraines and sights, but an ice pack lasts me like five minutes, ten minutes. Like my neck is cooking, my head is cooking most of the time. But yeah, I I, I I'm bad at doing nothing to begin with. So um okay so get so can can I get like uh, from the tree? Can I oh Naniga? I need to get like the selected item or something or the selected folder. If I could get that, then I will be able to drop in the files. Like, this is one of the parts that I really want to finish today the drop in uh, of files. Um, like, it. The tree has a kind of like drop system. Let's see. I, I I don't think this I I oh, whoops. With GD extensions, all as possible. I think so, but I I wonder. I I but I don't think the amount of effort needed to make everything function will be worth it. Why is it printing two times? Like this could cause a problem. It would add files two times to the system. Why does it do? Oh, because we have two trees. We need to actually detect if the files got dropped on this specific node. Oh, um, nothing. I didn't. Um, if files get dropped in the media pool, can I, is it like a special function that I can... Wait, was, what was the function again? Files, files dropped. Files dropped. It's, it's a window thing, so... Um... If visible, I don't think this, I, I think this also gets um, called anyway, yeah, because it's only the parent which is hidden. So, oh, your head is very in the way. I shall cut your head again. Eh? My hand is finally decent enough. Like, I, 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 I cannot keep my hand up. I, I can almost do good chop again. But I haven't been able to cut his head in some time, so it's getting quite long. Nimitai? Papa to nene? No. He does not like sleeping with me. Um if you can do VLAN bindings and whatnot. Yeah, Wayland, Wayland. Um, oh, my 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 GPU right now it. it uh, first of all, it's Nvidia, and second of all, it's too old, so Wayland does not really function. Those are top I I kind of want to try out Wayland, but I also don't want to struggle too much with having to set up everything again because I kind of like how my system works right now. Um. Yeah. Basically, on YouTube, watch the videos multiple times, <laughs> so I have enough watch time. Like, honestly, with, with all my channels, subscribers have has never been a problem. It's rather easy to get 1,000 subscribers. The difficult part is getting watch time, getting enough watch time. Um, first time chat, welcome to the stream viewers. Okay, normally Slender, I made. Uh, you're also a moderator on Twitch. Oh wow, we we got we got two people joined, so we have nine followers now. 
Wait, what is like the... So what is actually like required? Oh, you need 50 followers and eight hours of streaming time. Okay, and around seven, yes. And an average of three viewers per stream. So I think this is per month, Kana. So you need eight hours in total and around seven days. I think this is seven days of being live a month. So we're still a far, uh, we're still a long, um, yeah, far away from that. <laughs> um, okay. So normally, if I drag in a file, yeah. So now we only need to get the actual folder. For file string in files at oh file manager dot add file and file global. I wasn't sure, but there is a, a is invisible in three. Ooh. Uh, I, I don't like, uh, this is something I, I get kind of annoyed with, uh, I think it's because, no, we have embedded menus on. Wait, if I disable this and save and restart, if I press a key like to find something or, wait, I had embedded windows on, why did it pop up? So if I open a new pop-up or something in, in Godot and start typing, it never works. I always have to click on the text box itself. So, okay, so it's embedded Windows, but embedded Windows is not even working. It's not even working. It was still like a floating window to begin with. Okay, but problem problem fixed. Okay, returns true if the node is present. It's visible in three. Ah. Uh. Why does it work sometimes? Is visible in three. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, that's that's helpful. And that's again one of the reasons why I like be having in a jet when I do live streams. <laughs> oh. Too few arguments expected for. Ah, the folder as well. Um, and the current i, current ID. I I don't think I should do this. So I should choose if global else. Project manager dot current ID. So I should just have this. So I won't need this. I, I will still need to follow the data. That, that's. Now we only need a folder. How do we get the selected folder? Um, we've been having a, a decent stream. Like I, I never really expected I would have around seven, eight viewers at almost all time. Um, well, Twitch is doing better than I thought. I thought we would have zero. We at least have one viewer. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, yeah, we need uh, we need to get the folder data. We need to get selected folder from the tree. If I can get that, file importing works. And then basically what I want to achieve today will be done. Um, okay, so a control used to show the internal. Um, get, get button ID at position, get column at Get column at position. Get button ID at position. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, sadly, I'm pretty sure the one viewer is a bot. Why do you call slander a bot? <laughs> Refresh Twitch, it will be 10 followers. Oh. Yay, 10 followers. Breaking balls. <laughs> Thank you for following. Yay, 10 followers. <laughs> I, I cannot promise that I will stream a lot on Twitch and I'm lurking, watching, no idea what is go uh, going on, but I found it very interesting. <laughs> we have two concurrent viewers right now. If I were to do other things on Twitch, it will... Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, I thought maybe I could stream myself playing games as well, but I honestly don't think I will stream myself playing games because I cannot call the time that I actually play the game. I do, I do have um, Minecraft installed, but only installed. I, I still have not played it yet. I have not played, oh, I have not played in a very long time. Um, I think last time was 2000, 2016, I think. Um, about opening folders, portals doesn't support opening the containing folder while selecting a file yet. You need to handle it like a project folder for now. Oh. Oh, where is the chat gone? Okay. Um, by opening folders. I'm full. Um, you can check the viewers. Up, you can. Oh, wow. Whoops. You can check the viewers on Twitch. Um, I can hide it. If I click on it, I can hide it. Um. Oh, whoopsie. I'll turn my sound on. Instead of just opening the Cosen file. Um, there's still a lot of things that I need to figure out with um, Cosen. Like, the basics are there. Well, al almost there. Like, the video importing and such. Like, I'm certain that I will be able to make and uh, goes and work to edit videos. The biggest problem will be adding all the necessary features to edit videos nicely and easily. And performance. Performance will be a very big thing, I think. The good thing is, like, if you go into any type of video editor, open source video editor, like Caden Live, Shotcut, by example, GPU processing is disabled by default or it's unstable. But well, let, let's let's show the unstable part. Oh, whoops! Um, whoopsie! Um, okay, got it. So if you open Kaden Live, GPU processing is disabled. But because we will use shaders, normally that should use a GPU. So we will already have GPU processing by default. So I think I honestly think that's going to be a very big thing. I wish I knew enough to contribute, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I will try to make it more easy to understand. 
Um, playback, yeah. For playback GPU processing, it uses the, uh, the Movit library, but it is unstable. It can make things unstable. And that's the same for Shotcut. If you open Shotcut as well, Shotcut has the same problem. If you have uh, go to settings, GPU effects unstable. So I'm I'm kind of considering to using all, uh, like all effects, making all effects and all tra transitions work through Godot shaders. Yes, sh shaders will be the big plus of course. Yeah, that, that was something you said from the beginning. I did not know in what way it would be like such a big thing. Like I was just thinking about like all the nice effects that you can have, the shiny, the shiny effects. I did not know the whole GPU processing issues that exist with current solutions, current feature editors. So, yeah. Like the more I work on Gozen, the more I see like a lot of potential for it. And a lot, that I, a lot more that I feel like this is going to be awesome if all necessary features are included. That's like the biggest hit for all FOSS video edits for, for pros. Yeah, having GPU, uh, GPU enabled um, processing by default without it being unstable, that, that's... Uh, I want Gozen to work already and especially with all my trouble that I had yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so can I, can I do this? Print. Cat global mouse position. Le let's see if this works. Um, okay, I want to drag this folder into a new folder. Object null, okay, so that didn't work. How about local? Why do you think I'm involved despite the fact I use Resolve and have no problem at all with it? <laughs> well, you, you say you have no problem. You still need to convert all the files and still need to have... It's working. How is it working? I... Normally it does not go this smoothly. No, normally I run into like a lot of problems. What, why is this working? Eh? How? I, I, I don't think... I, it's probably not working. It's probably like just... Something wrong. Okay, so get text. Let, let, let's... So, it, it, it's probably not working. Let, let... I, I don't... Oh. Get text needs a... Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, no. I, I I refuse to believe that it's this easy to make this work. Wait, wait, wait. Something else is broken now. Why... Why are there two folders with the exact same name? That's not supposed to happen. But how about in global? Okay, so I don't know how this happened, but yeah. Okay, so eh? eh? So wait, 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 wait. It, 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 it works. Dot. Wait, how do I remove a tree item? That's like the best way to see if it's actually work. If it actually works. Um. My set, set tooltip text. Let, let, let's just do that. 
Uh, I, I just want a quick way of testing if this actually works. Yep. Um, and the column. Okay. Oh. Whoops. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I, I cannot print this now. Ser seriously, Gozen has so much potential simply because it's built onto of Godot. Um, like it could do extremely good 3D compositing, for example. Yeah, there are a lot of things. There, there are like I, I, I will make a uh, custom export file because we don't need a lot of things. Like all these multiple uh, multiplayer things, HTTP requests we need. Uh, but navigation agents, I'm not 100% certain about those. But there are a couple of things that we will need and that I would pro uh, probably just remove. But I don't really know. Ma, I, I, I'm thinking about just keeping the 3D stuff as like an extra addition, uh, as kind of like a module that you can, can implement. If you want to use 3D, you need to also include that module. Because it basically just to keep the default size of Gozen small. I, I want it to be modular, so. Oh wait, Zag is here. Oh wow, 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 I've been missing messages. Uh, well, only drag and dropping file taking a few minutes before working with the editor, not a, not a big problem. Hey Vaughn, how is it going? Can't join for long since I need to catch a ferry. You need to catch a ferry? Wow. I've only been on a ferry from the Netherlands to the UK and back. I, I, I like ferries. I, I, I like being on the sea. Feels me, uh, makes me feel like a pirate, but yeah, without the waving. Um, Exactly my point. Well, everything's going fine. Like it, it, it's it's going surprisingly fine. I, I I think something's not working, but apparently it's working. Okay, so now this should have. It has a tooltip. It's working. I, 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 I did not think it will be working. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll oh, whoops. Yeah, I, I quickly, I'll quickly do something. Um, where are you? Um, okay. Um, I'm not sharing my screen yet. Um, wait. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, something is. Ooh. Okay, and it's working. Okay. Um. Twitch still two viewers, so <laughs> I'll I'll have an average of two viewers. Um. Yeah, I, I don't actually need that uh, thing anymore. Okay, so. Right now, the only thing I need to do is be able to add it. Yeah, I, I only need to add the file right now. But, um, I don't think we use these right now. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I, I don't need this one. Because the file... Um, Open file dialog. I do. I, do I have that? Wait, do I ha, do I have an add files button? Okay. No. I I do I do have that. Okay. So. So I can just. I don't actually even need to do this. Uh, just, oh wait, wait, I probably need to code. Um, so, add files, files. That's that function mainly done. Um, oh wait, no, I need to folder the tree item. 
Well, I think this returns a tree item. Yep. So drag and drop should work now. Oh, no, something's not working. Oh, uh, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> nice face when you discover it just works. You don't know how many times that I have things that it just does not want to work and I have no idea why. Like, I, 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 I don't know sometimes like how things actually like start functioning suddenly whilst it did not use to function before. And to do remove folder file in submenu. Right now there's no way of deleting a file yet. Um, if you can add files, you don't need to delete files. Um, we should probably implement it. Is the air conditioning on? No. Wow, it's warm today. Uh, rename item made it. Make this work. It's two twenty for you, slander. Isn't that getting on the late side? Um, so add file, add, okay, so this should print now. Okay, but now we need to get the actual folder paths. So How does the project file look right now? Normally there should not be any duplicate folders. I got a lot of stuff outside. My kid is kind of surprised. <sighs> <laughs> You'll keep standing. I think that's a yes. Um, so print. Um, so we have the um, what folder parts. I I I I I add files. So, um. I should probably call this folder paths. Oh, whoops. Folder paths to give it a little bit more info of what it is. Oh, no, file paths. File, file, file. Whoops. Time zones. Why? Why is somebody waving and why is somebody saying hi? Ah, oh, to, <laughs> to him. <laughs> yeah, to Konnichiwa. I try to speak mostly in Japanese to him, but. Yeah, he, he does not talk yet. Um, pull the parts. For... 
I don't know. Um, can a tree item have like... Wait, um, current item folder. Yeah. Folder item, folder item. Um, he always gets very distracted by the lights of my keyboards. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he can see himself on my screen. <laughs> How about this? <gasps> <laughs> He's distracted this turn to rats because my screen is not showing. Good. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll try to get it working, and then it's going to be lunch time over here. So I'll maximum spend thirty more minutes to get this working, and then I'll think I'll probably end the stream. So um, get parents. So. Cold because no add button. Uh, is there a way to get like all the? I think we should look in tree for that to get like the whole paths. Um, set column clip. Set column. Uh, set column. No. Get se Get selected. Get selected column. Um. Get next selected, get item at position. There will be a bug that you can probably add files to files. So that's something I will also need to take in mind. But that's something for later. If I can already add files, then I can start to work on the timeline for now. Um, get item, at, no, get press, get root, get scroll, get selected, no, get that, no. Okay, so nope. Ads, no. Get auto wrap, nope. I didn't know. Okay, get metadata. Will that work? Maybe it works, maybe not. Oh, whoops. Why does this not work? Um, identify the path not declared. Ah, oh, whoops. Um, why? Oh, whoops. Oh, wait, no, this should be file paths. Three, get metadata. Am I doing so? Oh, whoops. Of column zero. Um. Wait, can I? No. Um. Okay, metadata is apparently zero, null. So I don't know what this does, but okay, that's not it. Um, how can I get like the entire tree st structure? Can I 
Cat, Max Festival, Cat. I can't keep doing cat parents. While current item dot get text is not root. Um, for the part is current item dot get text. Okay, so um, um, current item dot get text. Current item should be current item dot get parents. I think you can only go through through signals. Get text in column zero. I wish it will default to zero, that you don't always have to enter in the column number. Um, okay, it only says new folder, so if I put it now in the subfolder. Okay, um, quick tests, project settings, and project settings, um, use the data. No, um, so that storage goes and tests this file. How do fi uh, folders get saved right now? Um, okay, so there's no line at the end. <sighs> Okay, I think I, I think I know what to do. Um, oh, whoops. Okay, if I got this working then I'll be happy. Okay. That works. There is a slash in front of it, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, Michael's just to dot trim prefix, uh, trim Suffix, voila, and this should work. I always put a, yeah, but we, we take the text of the folder itself. I don't, oh, whoops. Wait, what if I drop a file and it's not, Okay, so right now dropping dropping files anywhere except for the file uh, the media pool will cause an error. But yeah, um, that's something to fix later. So, like the, the, let's just make the bug list as long as possible for when the alpha comes out. So yeah, we got the parts, we got the file parts. So add file to structure. Um, to data structure file 
data and folder data and to do updates um, three. Okay, and let's just add some code so it gives an error so I know where it was last time. Okay, um, I'll I, I'll leave it at this for today. Um, <laughs> I think it's probably late for a lot of you guys and. It's getting around noon here, and my kid is kind of used to eating early on. Um, yeah, I think, well, <laughs> I think a lot of people got, uh, are hungry or fell asleep. Uh, we have two viewers right now, so for, for some reason. Um, and on here we have five viewers right now, a uh, six. So, lowest point I think that we went was five but only for a short bit so minimum round six maximum round ten so yeah nice stream today <laughs> i was able to get some work done i was able to have a little bit of, sh of, of a chat and i enjoy my time even though my head is kind of exploding <laughs> oh well thanks for watching everybody and um this time with intentions showing the coffee supports the screen Thanks to all the coffee supporters for uh, supporting me in the past couple of, well, since June, July, I have my coffee page. So thanks a lot to all people who have been subscribing on Kohi and becoming a member. Really helps out a lot right now. The amount that I've been getting from Kofi is the same amount. It, it's the same amount that I've been getting from my main YouTube channel. So yeah. It's, it's helping out a lot. It's actually making it seem more possible to make this into something that I can do more full time. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Um, I may stream tomorrow, I may not stream tomorrow. I'll see, um, yeah, prob probably, probably not, I think. Maybe, M or I'll work on a video. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Have a nice day to everybody. <laughs>